Congo here again from DreamHack. I'm, s I'm joined by AL Mania. Uh, Mania, how's it going? It's going okay. We just lost to Navi, so, but it's a very close game and I thought we would win most of the game, but the, those hooks to Fountain just fucking ripped that. Yeah, yeah. It was so <laughs> terrible. And we lost our gym too there and just it went downhill from there. So. Should Bambo feel embarrassed about that? Nah, I think it, it happens. Like it happened to me in the end too. But whatever. Like you, you can try. I, I really thought we'd win, and our chance was to get Roche after, and we just wanted to put a bit pressure bottom. But then, then he got hooked by Poch, and it just yeah. went downhill from there. So you're playing a great series, though. I really enjoyed your games and a lot of lot of action there. Do you think the boot camp paid off? Was it worth it? Yeah, I think it was definitely worth it to. Just to get to know each other and each other's playstyle. We haven't played uh, so much uh, practice online, so it was like it was our first time where we just could practice for a long, long time. And we've been practicing the last seven days, like almost 10 hours per day, just playing scrims and stuff. So it's been okay. Now, Bambo has been the off laner for, for Mouse, and now in AL he's suddenly uh, position two in mid. Uh, how do you think uh, his, transition, his transition has been going? It's been pretty well. He started out uh, in the start of the bootcamp. He was playing a uh, role four, and then I was playing five. And but then we tried him mid instead, and it worked out better because then we could p put Conway me back to support. He was playing solo mid in the start, so and Frieza he's just mo most comfortable in his offlane role, so that's why we're not putting him offlane. And I think he's doing a really good job mid too. So. How do you feel about your own role? We know we all know you from your Sand King and stuff and like anchors that get a decent amount of farm. How do you feel with your role that is more support based now? Uh, it's fine, like I, I just want to win the game. So if I need to buy uh, like all the wards and support the team, I will do that because right now I'm playing the five role and I'm just trying to do the best. So would you would you still like to play uh, like a more ganking oriented role, like a more a more involved role, let's say, uh, like with more farm? Mm, I don't know. I, I I could do it, but I don't know. I, I just think uh, right now when we've been bootcamping those roles for a long time, we should just stick to it and just do what we. But of course, uh, it could be fun to get more items. You can do more in game than. But in the first game against uh, 3D Max, you gave away the Sven, the Dark Seer yourself. You've gotten Magnus and what was the end Bounty and Twinhead. How do you feel? Uh, how confident did you feel about the trades you've made there? Do you think it was fine because they put up a decent fight against you? Um, we were pretty comfortable with it. We knew that uh, the pick was going to go that way because we just wanted to ban like Quap because they've been using Quap every game. So we just wanted to put them out of their comfort zone. And then it, now when it's a land setting, it's more like stressful for them, I guess. How do you guys feel on LAN as opposed to online? Is it is it a lot better? Or do you think it helps your play? Yeah, I like playing uh, LAN a lot. It's like you you can communicate much better with your team, and you can do it straight up. And the morale when things are going better, you can like boost the morale by screaming and doing whatever. And so, how do you feel about the lineup Navi drafted in that last game just against you to to lane the bounty hunter safe on their position one player and yeah then pick a windrunner for off lane? Uh, did that surprise you or how do you feel about how do you feel about inter about this draft? Uh, I felt uh, the draft went kind of our way. I just think they they played so much better in team fights than us. So their coordination was much better and especially like they pulled off a good punch combo. So He's known for that punch so. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, now the last game is coming up. Uh, how do you guys do? You, are you confident to advance now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I hope they won't lose to 3D Max, so we'll, we'll go in a three-way tie. So, but I uh, I don't know much about the out of tangos, but I uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. But let's see. Everything can happen, land. I wish you best of luck either way. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. And do you want to drop any shoutouts before we head off? Uh, shout out to our sponsors and the Big Point and yeah. Thank you very much for your time.